proud of you? Yep. Mm. Good girl. It's day one of finals week for the annual Kimberley and Pilbara Girl competitions. It's a leadership program for young Aboriginal women. The finalists from across Northern WA are meeting for the first time. Three minutes, let's see if you can get to know each other, get to know each other's personalities. It's the sisterhood now. Kira Fong started the program in 2004 after an international modelling career. As a young woman from a minority racial group in Australia, um, I know the things that I suffered growing up, the lack of self-confidence, the lack of worth, the lack of value for my skin colour, the way my eyes looked. And that's kind of how it started off and it just steamrolled from there. <laughs> One, two, three, go! Right. It's like this little experiment. Three. Let's see what we can do to get the girls to like themselves, to get these young women to love who they are. This week's about expelling those demons about pushing forward with any trauma you've experienced and using that to make yourself better. Kalia Rogers has travelled eight hours from the Wonka Jonka community to take part. I was keen like, to get involved with Kimberly Girl because to show that we can be strong leaders, we can be strong women coming out of community. The workshops focus on goal setting, employment options and also confronting issues like self-harm. But there's also some glamour involved. Gorgeous. A handful of the girls have secured modelling contracts after the competition. <laughs> you, make, you make this photo. <laughs> but for most, the priority is conquering feelings of shyness and shame. It's very overpowering sometimes. Or, well, you know, I'm not confident enough to do this. But with this program, it helps so much with that, like, yeah, I am be able to do this. I feel like the shame factor within young Indigenous girls is really big. Speaking from experience, you know, it's, it's really hard being shamed. Like, you, you won't get nowhere being shame and shy and being all tucked in, you know. You have to take that first risk, take that first step. A huge percentage of the girls that come into the program have awful stories, awful stories of trauma. Yeah. It's heartbreaking. Former winner Cassie hunter Aragu says the program transformed her life. Before I started Pilbara Girl, um, I was going through a really tough time. Um, I was away from home. I was um, heavy on drugs. People used to tell me, you're never going to be somebody. And, you know, I kind of believed it. I just thought, yep, this is my life, it's going to stay like this, you know, no matter how hard I tried and tried. Applying for Pilbara Girl um, really changed things. It gave me that courage to be better, you know, to be a leader, that I am something, I am worthy, I am, I am who I am. And where do you think you'd be now if you hadn't entered Pilbara Girl? I'd hate to say it, but I would have been dead. You know, it was, it was a tough time, I was struggling. I, I don't think I would have made it out at all. Cassie's now working full time at a mine near her hometown and raising her kids with the support of family. Now I'm an ambassador, I have to make sure I continue being a leader and continue being on the right path and, you know, keep moving forward. I want you to go out there and smash it tonight and really enjoy yourselves. Let's go, girl. <laughs> you all know, go back out there and be the best versions of you you can be. Come and get us, like, get yeah. Yeah. Get us, Everybody, know, let's all say Gigi Bangs on three. <laughs> One, <laughs> two, three, Gigi Bangs! <laughs> Wait here, baby, Gigi Bangs! Kalia Rogers, it's the on-stage interview she's been dreading the most. Tonight, your question is, what do you love most about being Aboriginal? Um, coming from the oldest living culture in the world, I feel privileged to be able to connect to um, three different language groups. But facing her fears has paid off. And I'm pleased to announce the winner is... Kalia Rogers. A 
feel proud of myself. I feel good. I feel feel like I've accomplished something now. Um, yeah, so I'm just feeling really, really happy at the moment. It's one of those very special moments. Still shaking at the moment. <laughs> just can't believe it. <laughs> to see her here and to walk on stage with her head up high. And It'll be one of those moments that you just will never forget. Yeah. <laughs> what did shine on the night? Was it the little slip-ups in the choreography or anything? It was the confidence that these young women displayed and they're willing to push through. They're willing to push through any obstacle in their way. And we hope that we've been a part of them developing that resilience because it's going to help them in all aspects of their life in the future. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.